Katze. I want to... Forgive me for my hair, guys. It's 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 gonna look like that until I get a haircut. I'm here at the bro's house. Here at Trey's house. Um, I'm in the street speaking, but we're here to take a look at my car, as y'all saw the other day. It didn't work out so well doing deliveries. Well, it was about two days ago. It works, but it's kind of. I, I talked to some people, some friends that actually have Subarus. WRXs in, in particular. Hold on, I'll let the car pass. Basically, I have a check engine light and then I have hill assist on the car um, for some new tech manual stuff out there. And then I have traction control, right? You guys know what that is. Those lights keep going on and off. My check engine light stays on. So I was notified and um, knowledge of hide. That's a new word, I coined that. More cars, hold on. That, that's basically lint mode. I don't know if I even told Trey this. Whenever I try to add some boost, the car decides to freak out. It freaks out as in, sometimes it gets hesitant. The boost doesn't really want to kick on correctly. And then when I try and shift, then that's when it shuts off on me. So I took it real slow driving from my house out here. We'll give you a tour later on when everything's 100%. Check this out, this is pretty cool. Remember I said, Trey got about five cars now. Well, technically we're looking at four at the moment plus mine. We'll check it out. Hey, yo, <laughs> Mr. Crib. There's Trey. Nobody really knows about that one. Yeah, no, no. Oh, the oh, true. Yeah, here. Not an Evo. It's a Lancer, but it's nice. It's a, it's a it's a car to do something with. <sighs> the nice one right here, man. Love it, love it. Um, and of course, the really nice one. Ah, see. I took that from you. No, so we're actually working on, Trey's working on this. When I pulled up, he's done crazy, crazy good job here. You don't get up close, it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> Collar mats in the fenders here. What we got going on here, Trey? Well, fender is this one. Is this the rear? Rear passenger. Yeah. So are you going to go over it again? Because I do well, know it's this. No, that's like chemical. I, this is like three layers and it's like. And it just keeps doing that? So I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. Well, that, hey. I'm changing the color of it soon, so. Yeah, we ain't gonna release what those colors are yet. <clears throat> but as you guys see, he's done a lot of this thing. And the things that he has done are like in budget. It's pretty cool. Therefore, you see this rattle can. Nothing to boast about, nothing to, you know, uh, look down upon because it's coming out amazing, as you see. Wide old tires here. But when I pulled up, uh, he was actually working on his rear end. He put the bumper on, finally. I'd say like a month ago, yeah? No, it was, oh, like as of right now, yeah. Yeah. Um, and he was, so what, 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 I can't speak. What's in your, what, what's the idea for here? Oh, well, essentially we just gotta do some body work. We're filling in holes. Uh, when I had, when I took out, when I did my bumper cut, some of the, uh, what the heck is that called? The bash bar, OEM bash bar shows. So I took it out and I was just running bumper and I reversed and I like barely tapped into my other vehicle and uh, sure enough, it's split down the middle. So now we're just doing some body filling and uh, prep for when I do decide to change the color. So. Oh man. So again, I'm filming with my phone. So we're really uh, low budget in here. But yeah, so that's what he's doing. Um, I'm gonna hop on that and then we're gonna move my car around jack it up so we're gonna look at i've also been uh with, with my friend we're taking a look at the catalytic converter for those who know on wrx's there's a um, i'm hopefully i get this right so there's it's called a j pipe j pipe pretty much connects to the turbo and to the exhaust um that's all i know right now <laughs> but i know that you can get a catted j pipe or a catalyst j pipe with Cobb and uh, certain things as far as regulations with emissions and stuff, nobody really recommends tuning with a Catalyst J-Pipe. Um, there's people out there, don't get me wrong. If you're willing to pay the money, you know, you can get it done. But if you're on a budget and really just trying to go stage or step by step, um, Catted is the way to go as of right now. Well, there's a little bit of issues with a couple Catted ones as well that just dropped that are that qualify for being great with the emissions and don't, you know, throw codes. 
Other than that, I don't have one. So we're gonna check this OEM one. I don't have an aftermarket one, but we're gonna check this OEM one. Disconnect the exhaust from the J pipe, turn the car on. If it runs perfectly fine and I re like, you know, we reset things and it runs fine, uh, something's wrong with the cat. We, it's either real clogged up with exhaust stuff. So there's sometimes in the filter, there's chunks of carbon that can actually get stuck and thrown down through your exhaust. Sometimes they're just plugged up exhaust. It's really weird. I've done some research and it's, I guess it happens, man, but it's. Not to mention the vehicle, what, how many owners? Two, three owners? Two or three, yeah. And nothing's been done except till Drew got the vehicle. Yeah, I mean like as far as. Like opening up things. Yeah, upgrading, taking a look at things like what the walnut blasting that we did. I think the only thing that's really been done is oil changes and tire rotations. Um, other than that, I mean, I really don't think a lot of things have been done. <laughs> you mean pecan foo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I really don't think too much has been done. So we're kind of, instead of upgrading and trying to look good, um, we're going through motions that previous owners didn't do. So we're kind of just trying to catch up, play catch up. And with all these things going on, I really hope we can get to the problem where I don't have to let the car go. Uh, that's where I'm at right now. You know, like I said, I want to be transparent and hopefully I really don't need to or have to let the car go. If so, so be it. I'll bring something else on the channel. But uh, it's my first car and it's one of my dream cars and I can fit in it. <laughs> it's really something we can, you know, look forward to. So I just hope we can get this done. But until then, Miata first, then my car. And then we might take a ride in the Z. We'll see what happens. But uh, I don't want to waste too much time now. Sun goes down fast here. It is the winter, so I don't know. Oh, I also just came from Albuquerque, about three and a half hours away. We left at 4 o'clock in the morning, and it is currently about 2, maybe 2.30. <sighs> yeah, it's a crazy mess. You in here. That's what you do with the model cars. <laughs> Open. Oh, my Squeeze method. There we go. So remember you guys, the flares that we did last time, Trey did color correct them. We made a little video about it. So all the holes are already prepped and ready to go. He just needs to redo the rivet stuff. I need to put the camera on there. <laughs> you gotta be careful though, cause it's not really a uh, finished paint. <laughs> setting them. Yeah. Wookie. You guys remember Wookie? Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? How you doing, huh? Say I'm a new Beyond the Grind member. Huh? 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 I don't know if that is.
about this car later just know that it was a uh, overheating they did the gaskets themselves freaking crazy Whew. All right, so besides all the chicken and stuff in the background, we have taken off the whole exhaust. Uh, we're running it from the J-pipe. It makes all the nice spoolie boy noises. We're doing it for a reason. It's fun, yeah, but we're gonna see if the car acts normal. If it acts normal, 
then that means there's um i would i would figure that there's too much uh heat in the catalytic converter so when you disconnect it from the exhaust it's able to breathe therefore it's a bad cat because once you put a proper exhaust on it's not being able to distribute the correct um you know it's not able to cool down in a sense but i'll show you under the car trace jacking it up right now getting the exhaust off let's see let's see if you can see it there's the exhaust i'll show you guys the j pipe when we're done actually i don't know you can see it, you can see it from the tire. You can see from the oh yeah right there oh yeah okay so you see the flanges and stuff all that that's the j pipe right there um i'll show you exhaust going bye bye for a few hopefully we've got some time it'd be really funny if i drove it like that in the crucis <laughs> it'd be funny if i drove it like that the crucis if it ends up completely fine <clears throat> gonna run it a few after we put it back on the ground um see if we can diagnose a little bit of things without spending a lot of money maybe we'll go to autozone or something and see about a pressure gauge um and i mean we get paid soon so maybe we can do it in a few days but till then prayers guys hopefully we don't jack up the car i'm talking to my homeboy as we speak to help me out with all this stuff but let's see what it does let's see by the way props to my brother um he always ends up doing the dirty work i'll take stuff off and stuff but he completely takes things off. I feel bad sometimes. I don't know why it ends up happening that way. I think it's just because he has the knowledge. So he's he's easily able to just jump right in. And for me, I, it takes time and it takes me a while. So I learn as we go while he's doing the do. Oh, that sounds bad. Doing the thing. <laughs> Cringe. Ugh. Pipes are fine. Just not the tips. Sorry, guys. We got to so we so coming you got it you want some help he's hot Just do it quick. Get out of here, bro. Ugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
100% proper. I'd run it this way if the car was nice and easy. Okay, that's it. No more. <laughs> I appreciate Trey, the cameraman, right now. And uh, we did a lot of work, got a lot of content in, and hopefully things work out. But that's that's the deal on my car right now. I run it this way for a few days just to get things situated, figure out what's really going on. But I think that ties up the ties up the video. We spent all day, went to Albuquerque, came back. Trey devoted his nice Friday evening to help me out. Sorry, he still got time though. It's almost it's like 5:30, so yeah, I'm done with everything I need. So. So Trey's done. We're almost ready for Sunday. We actually have a meet tonight just to sort things out. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog that right now. Uh, maybe we'll vlog another meet later, but we're going to an RPM meet in Las Cruces. We'll see what happens. Did you want to get a quick run? Just me going down or? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Cheers.